Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me, James. Hope you guys are all doing well and I'm back as we continue our challenge to reach a population of 100,000 in city skylines. Today we're going to reach a point where we get to unlock a new area on the map. We need to get to 55,000 and there is an area where we could get some oil and expand on our industry zone. We've also got some work to do to bring our forestry industry up to scratch. Perhaps we can get that to a five star and unlock some more unique buildings there. Okay, so the first challenge today is to reach a population of 55,000. That'll unlock a new area on the map. And I want to open an area that's got access to oil. It'll also give us access to a cargo terminal and perhaps ferry terminals as well. It's the only area that I can see that will connect to it. Last week we expanded down on the front here, putting some more residential and did a little bit of a Chinatown build. So really happy with the way that turned out. But I'm figuring that this area here looks a little bit blank and we can certainly fit a little bit more residential in along the front here. So first of all, we're running low on power and these solar updraft towers have been working quite well. So I'm going to add another one of them, although I'm not sure whether it'll work. I think things work in threes or fives, but I don't know, odd numbers and putting a fourth one down might look a bit odd. So for now, I'll stick one just here, but perhaps later on we'll get rid of it and perhaps go for a nuclear pan or a different source of power. But uh, for now, that will give us enough power until I think a little bit harder about how to continue our power needs for this city. And yeah, I don't know. I like it with the three updraft towers in a row there, but the fourth one, yeah, kind of looks a bit strange. Never mind, it will do for now. We've got plenty of power and I want to expand along this beach line. We've also got this train line working across here and we've got our subways as well. So perhaps I could put another one of those stations that is a train station to subway. And we could bring this avenue down, perhaps from the bridge and continue it along the sea front. So it could cause a problem with traffic. We have got some traffic lights there that are three way. If I was to bring this bridge and road down a little bit further, it might be better than coming in from where the roundabout is. So let's give this a go and bring our avenue across here like so. Now that has created four-way traffic lights, but it's not a particularly busy road and I don't want to come off the corner of that roundabout as that can get quite busy just along here from the highway. So. At least I've stuck the traffic lights a little bit further down. Okay, so I guess we can bring the avenue perhaps along the beachfront just here. And we can do a combination of dense residential, low residential, and perhaps a little bit of generic commerce industry as well. Yeah, this space is looking a little bit empty and right now we've got 52,000. I want to get to 55 to be able to unlock another tile. So let's just make this avenue bend around a little bit better than it was. That turning was a little bit sharp. So that's a little bit better. What I was thinking about was sticking another train station in here. But being that we have our metro line basically running right there. I was thinking about doing the train to metro line. So you got here, it'd be under this tab, uh, bus ferry, platform. There we go, train to metro hub. So this way we could continue onto our metro as well as a train station. Just put that there like so. So that gives us an avenue and I'll have to connect the metro underground up there as well. But at least when our citizens come in here, they can also get onto the subway as well. 
hopefully in turn relieving a little bit of pressure. So being that this comes with an avenue road, we can perhaps bring that down here like so. Okay, and I'll make that curve a little bit gentler. And if I bring this avenue out this way, and it will give me enough room to send that metro line back underground. Doesn't need too much space. So we'll bring it back down to here like so. Just bring my straight road. There we go. And I'll just make this corner a little bit gentler. No, that was a straight road. Try again. Let's put the curve roads on. And bring it around here like so. So I just want to get some basic roads down and lay out. Connect this subway up. Okay, so one more there. And I think that should do it. I've managed to fill up the space. Put a little bit more dense commercial in there because we've got a demand for that. So I've got a mixture of high residential, low residential. I've put a school in as well. And yeah, I'm quite happy with how that's looking. So hopefully when we press the unpause and run the simulation, we can push this up to the 55,000 mark and unlock another tile. Okay, so we've lost power, deleting them power lines. Deleted the ones that came across the bridge. So, uh, how come that's not hooked up? It's uh, possibly if we bring a power line along the back from the solar up to our towers, that'll fix it. And, oh well. Wow pylons and I guess if we bring it down from the back of the industry just here that'll, uh, that'll connect it to the rest of the city I think the uh, least messy route to be able to do this is just from here to here okay and that should reconnect everything there we go. So we've got power back. Okay. And yeah, I think I'll definitely get rid of that fourth updraft tower. We'll go for a different type of power source. Perhaps the nuclear one. But um, for now, it'll be okay. So we need to let everybody move in and hopefully unlock a new tile. Okay, so we're about to hit 55. It's before everybody's moved in. It's looking good. And there we go. We've got a metropolis. With that, we've got the cargo airport and airport. That's probably we can work on an international airport next time. But I wanted to unlock another tile. And yeah, I'm kind of happy with how that's going there. Just need a little bit more citizens to move in. So there was a tile that gave us access to cargo ports. And we could also do a ferry terminal. Um, let me see. If we just go to... There isn't much land space to open with this one. But if I go to... Let's just get a cargo ferry here. So the cargo harbour, well the cargo harbour with train terminal would be quite good, but you can see where it will connect. So I need to unlock this square in order to use it. And even though it doesn't really give us much space to build with here, there's also some petroleum or oil sat there. So we could get an oil industry and a ferry terminal open if we unlock this. So, I'm going to go for this one, even though it's not going to give us a great amount of space to build on. It's going to give us access 
to the ferry somewhere along the front here. Yeah, there's sort of some basic stuff already laid down there, so... And we can also get access to oil there as well, so we could build up another industry. So, yeah, traffic's looking a little bit heavy at the moment, but that's because everybody's moving in, so we'll just leave it to perhaps settle down, and hopefully it will settle down. And if we go to oil... So it's just across here that all of that oil sat. And if we unlock that, we can unlock some other unique buildings and expand into a different industry. Okay, so I'm going to put that cargo slash train station down here. And just delete this small canal, I think it is. It's already part of the map. So there's a train and cargo line. I'll make getting exporting out of the city a lot easier as well if we connect that to the train line. And there is a train line running naturally right next to it. So let's just go to trains. Let's get that connected up first. So there's the train line. We can just bring that round here. Just gently curve it that way. And bring it down to meet this train line here. And straight, just sort of gently curve it that way. So that's connected up. And I don't want to waste any of that space around the oil there. So we can have some unique factories down here. Perhaps when we start grabbing the oil we can make plastics and there's all types of different factories that we can make, unique buildings. Let's bring this road around here. And I also want to build or expand on our forest industry as well. That's only at level 3. If we can get that up more. Again, it will give us access to more unique buildings. So, let's just roughly do something with the smaller roads here. And we can make a bridge just going across the top here. Perhaps I'll end up sinking that car train line there. Could also stick another route off going in the opposite direction as well, but bring that round here and just bring a bridge across this train line could probably do a cross in there I don't expect this to be too busy but stick a bridge in anyway something like that okay let's just bring this road over towards the sewage plant here and I want to be careful about how I stick the roads in along the seafront here so we can get as much oil as possible. Stick a few of these little oil extractions down here along the front. So I've brought the road down here, got some oil pumps. And what else can we build? So it's only going to be a level one. We've got the oil sludge plant as well. Let's stick that somewhere here. And there's also this storage facility. Um, ah, here we go. So petroleum storage. That's one of those. Hopefully that will get us started. Area is called Walnut Petroleum. And I need to get some water and electrics over there. As always, I like to follow the roads. So having access to oil means we're going to be able to make, well, there's going to be plastics and gives us access to some other unique resources that 
in turn will give us some different buildings. I'd like to put the car factory down, perhaps over there actually, but um, obviously in order to do that we've got our steel plant up, but we do need access to oil, otherwise we'll have to import it. I'm liking the look of it. Our city's expanding down the front here and uh, everything seems to be okay. Traffic a little bit heavy but again I think that's just as people are moving in I give it a chance to calm down. So last week I did manage to unlock some more forest industry buildings but I want to get this up to level 5 today. In order to do that, we need a few more workers. We need to produce a little bit more resources. And stick some storage down. What else have we got here? We've got the sapling tree plants here. These are supposed to replace the trees. So I'll stick a few of those down. Sawmills, we've got plenty of them. The biomass plant we have already. So perhaps that will just tip the balance. Give us a level four industry. So just put some of them saplings down. That should bring in some more workers. We could change that to a greenhouse, but I'll, I'll leave it as it is. So as well as cutting trees down, we're also planting them and creating some more jobs so that'll bring the industry demand down a little bit i think we can add any more we haven't got the large areas open yet so we need to get some more stars before we can do that um we have got a medium tree plantation perhaps i could go just down on the edge a couple of these here that'll fit in nicely just there so that should just definitely push us on. Hopefully we'll be able to get that to level four in no time. And again, it's going to create some more jobs and there is a demand for industrial jobs. We have got up to two stars on our oil industry. Didn't take very long to do that. So I've put a couple more things down here. And we are now producing household plastics. So from petroleum, plastics make a unique product. So that's all working. Could put a little bit more industry in here. I did get rid of it, but now there's more of a demand for it. Oh, I've missed out on some water here. I've just put a little bit more residential just on this edge here. I don't want to push it too close to where the industry is. Otherwise, the residents would be around a polluted area. We don't want people getting sick. And we're definitely going to hit the 60,000 mark very soon. All is looking good, so I just want that to expand a little bit more. Okay, so I just unpause the simulation. As you can see, we've got our cargo ferries come in there. They unload and load up onto the train and then whatever they're bringing in gets distributed around the cities. We've added some more buildings in here. Now we've got walnut petroleum up to a level three standard. I've put some of these larger oil drilling rigs in. But as you can see where that train's running, that's where the richest source of oil is. So I think what I need to do is send that train line just underground. That way we can put some oil rigs just around that area a little bit easier. It's all working pretty well at the moment. And there's also some more buildings that we've unlocked. I've got some here it is, the large oil pumps we need to sit down. And there was some, also some storage. Now I've got one of those. Um, just here, the oil industry storage areas. So I could put a couple of those in as well. 
Okay, so I think first things first, I want to see if I can do anything with this train line. Um, let's have a think. Okay, if I bring this road round the back, then I can stick some more oil pumps down. Sort of just have it curve this way and then curve the other way going underneath that bridge and I managed to get the train line to go underground it's quite sloped in that area so it worked out quite well okay so I want the larger oil pumps let's put a few of these down particularly around where the richer oil is maybe I don't know say three I like doing things in freeze and yeah they're just a little bit bigger than the single ones okay and we've also got a couple of other buildings open to us now some storage so got here we got the crude oil storage cavern stick one of those down the oil industry storage as well um, no, perhaps over the back here I don't want to place it over the top of the oil because these don't need to be over the top of the oil for storage so perhaps there we go we've got a bit of storage for the oil now hopefully we can get that up another level just connect here as I knock them power lines down Traffic looking a little bit heavy still, just coming off that highway. Oh, and the forestry industry's leveled up. So we've now got a engineered wood plant, soft paper factory, wood chip storage, industry maintenance building. So we can add a little bit more onto our forestry industry just here. And I'm running out of space there, so I perhaps want to bring this road round. And I was also thinking about just sticking a little village on at the end here. That might help with jobs. And if I bring this road up along here. I can also re rebuild that key I've got going. So I'm just going to bring an industry road a little bit further down. Um, and... So I, in fact, I'm just going to make a key around the outside of this area. Kind of neaten it up a bit. We could put a little residential area just down at the bottom here. Give it its own school and just a little bit of commercial. It is sat away from the city, but certainly help with jobs. Having some people closer to work over this side so we've pretty much just got the steel industry and the forest industry over on this side so I think the little village at the bottom here might work pretty well bring that up to the bridge yeah I don't think we need to continue it further bring this road here sort of gently curve it round at the back so that should give us plenty of room to stick some more forest industry stuff in just along here. I'll connect this road along here and then that can get straight out onto the highway. And yeah, we'll just grid this a little bit. It's a road here. I've just put some normal roads in down the bottom. I think a little village area might work quite well just along the ocean at the back there or the river rather okay so I'm happy with that this will work quite well as a little village just here of course I want to give it its own school need to put a little bit of commercial in as well not high density stuff but somewhere where they've got some 
basic shops. Stick a high school in as well. Don't need university. Um, let's have a look. Perhaps the community school. Shop this. I don't know, somewhere at the back. Maybe just here. That'll work. Get some fire stations in, perhaps a health centre as well. So the little village has got pretty much everything it needs. Um, I'll stick another large fire station in here. Protect our forest industry. And... Yeah, we also want to get perhaps a little medical centre in. Just on this village here. And then all of our citizens have kind of got everything they need in this little village here. So we don't need a hospital. But just a, yeah, a medical clinic. I don't know, perhaps here. And then I can put some commercial around it. I'm just going to stick some of these new buildings down. So we've got the maintenance building here. It's quite a large building. Um, I'll work across the front just here. Quite a large building, that one. And what else did we unlock? Some large sap farms. Stick them in somewhere. Engineered wood plant. That's a new one. Um, could probably stick that up. Yeah, and just here is fine. So it's not too large. And we've also got the large log yard. Um, that might fit in just here quite well. Okay. Wood chip storage again. That's a new building we've got. We can shove that up here. Just along the main road. Okay. So oh, I want to try and get this up to five stars today. Some large tree sapling fields. Perhaps a couple of these in somewhere. Um, maybe here. Sure. Let's... Ah. Yeah, if we put them perhaps on opposite sides. Just at the end here. They fit in quite well just there. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So now this area has reached a level four, we can put some of these unique buildings in. This soft paper factory. Wow, that's quite a big building. Um, it'll fit in quite nicely in this giant area we've got here. It fills it up quite well. So I'll stick this in. Now we're producing oil and petroleum. We're also making paper. We've got all of the ingredients we need to make paper products. So crops, paper, petroleum, plastics. We are making all of that. Our cargo lines just at the bottom of the road there. So it's easy to transport all of these goods over. And that should actually make us quite a bit of money. And that is a really, really big building. I like it. I like it. Um, could perhaps put a warehouse in as well. Medium sized one perhaps might be better. Sort of just fits in underneath here. If we set that to balanced and storing, we want farming, industry, we want, there we go, forestry products. So that'll help ease it so nothing's getting exported. We'll have all of the ingredients we need. And what else we got here? We could put a little sap farm in just next to it. I don't see why that wouldn't work. I do need to just designate a tiny bit more industry area. Let's just bring that down there a little bit. 
may as well stick the paper factory in there although you can place them outside of an industry area have a little sap field there I think with everything we've got going on now that will bring it up to a level 5 standard we should be able to do that by the end of the day so let's just finish off this little village here and I think I'll stick the commercial in just next to the medical center Don't we need too much it's only a little village get some residents in there got their own little school and there's plenty of work so population now at 63,000 doing pretty well I think the next unlock is at 65,000 something just on that corner there everybody's got water water supply is running a little bit low I'm going to put another one of these water towers in it'll work quite well just here connect that in just boost it up a little bit okay to let that area build up a little bit and hopefully everybody's got a job yeah I'm kind of liking that building so, oh, okay and we're finally at a level five I say finally that was really quick actually so we've now got large tree plantations a modular house facility and a pulp mill not so sure about the modular house facility I don't think we'll put that down but we'll put the pulp factory down and some large crops and that'll kind of finish off our forestry industry should have everything we need then give us a few more options on some unique buildings um where are we so sawmill already got the biomass engineered wood plant we put that in so the pulp mill we stick that in that's the only one we're missing and where can we put that I think that'll oh, maybe too close to where the residents are as it does make a little bit of noise let's try and stick it out of the way um, it'll fit quite nicely along here okay and we've also got large tree plantation um, yeah, that'll fit in quite well somewhere around here stick it next to our saplings or just in the corner perhaps yeah just here put another one of the sapling fields just in at the back so we're going to be producing more than enough wood we already are really okay let's just put a couple of the small ones in on the corner here just to finish it off we are producing plenty enough wood now more than enough really but I'm just gonna fill up that space there so I'm more than happy with that our giant paper mill is working we've got some people moving in just down here in the corner so I just want to let that build up but I think that's about as much time as we've got for today's episode as you can see we're getting all of the products we need to be able to create that unique resource there and we've also just hit a level four on our oil industry that's opened a few new things but that's going to have to wait until next time and we'll continue our oil industry in the next episode of complete city skylines but I'm really happy with how this has turned out and we finished off our forest industry today but until next time I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.